wasn't really sure what to expect from Aftermath. I hadn't heard anything about it, but it popped up as a recommendation on Netflix and it sounded really interesting. So I thought I'd give it a go. And I'm quite impressed with it. This was released last year in 2021, directed by Peter Winther, written by Dakota Gorman and stars Ashley Green and Sean Ashmore. And the premise for this is pretty interesting. I'll read the description from IMDb, but I'll talk a little bit around it and I definitely will not give any spoilers. The description is as follows. A young couple struggling to stay together when they are offered an amazing deal on a home with a questionable past that would normally be beyond their means. I realise that there is a grammatical error in that sentence, so I'm going to actually read it back. The young couple are struggling to stay together. They're having therapy. One of the characters did a bad thing and that's why there's some tension, um, which I thought was a pretty interesting way of going about things and made us distrust one of the characters very early on, which meant anything that they said or did thereafter could we exactly trust it? I thought that was a really interesting setup. They're on the brink of giving up on their relationship, but they get the chance to buy this house that, um, in which somebody um, committed a murder-suicide. And before we find out that they're offered this house, we actually get to see um, Kevin and his crew cleaning up the blood spatter from the suicide, which... I love. I'm a, I love things like that. I'm a big fan of true crime dramas. I love crime films where you do get to see crime crime scenes. Um, if you haven't seen the film Sunshine Cleaning and you like that kind of thing, definitely check it out. Um, so straight away, I was engaged because that's the second scene in the film, seeing them clean that up. And I thought, brilliant, this is about a cleanup crew. Unfortunately, we don't actually get to see them cleaning that much after the fact. And I think that that was a missed opportunity. Or maybe I just like it more than I should. But anyway, they take this house, of course, and suddenly things begin to happen. Mysterious things that they can't explain. Is it supernatural? Is somebody playing tricks? Is somebody out for revenge? I won't say. I'm not going to say which way it goes, but I will say it was quite atmospheric. I did feel the tension in the house. That tension is obviously also an echo of the tension in their relationship, so everything kind of comes around full circle. It's definitely not a happy film. I don't think there are many scenes where the characters are happy or overjoyed or feeling good about themselves. Um, and this is obviously also reflected in a lot of the problems that occur. It is quite mysterious. A lot of things were not explainable. Um, you know, sometimes you get horror films or thriller films and something happens and a character is like, oh, what caused that? Oh, the light outside of the house just went on. There must be a demon. But, you know, it's probably just a fox. Whereas the things that happen in this, they're not easily explained. And it does make it a bit more suspenseful. I think the development of the narrative and the pacing, really pleasing. I have no issues with the acting or casting. Uh, Natalie is a, a character I hated her but she's not a very she's not meant to be likable she is a very flawed individual and I didn't really care if bad things happened to her in that house which sounds awful but she's a very unlikable character whereas Kevin I warmed to him very quickly so Aftermath it's not perfect I'm not going to say that's the best film I've ever seen but genuinely I had a lot of fun watching it and I really enjoyed it if you're looking for a suspenseful thriller um, I think it's actually marked it as a horror. Um, that's not predictable. Yeah, there are times when it's predictable, but that's not the most predictable. And focuses on a house. I love I love horrors where it's all about a house that is either under attack or is possessed or is, um, you know, stuck in a time warp. I'm thinking of the film Haunter, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I love things like that, where the house is a character almost in its own right. You will you will enjoy this. I think Aftermath is one to look out for. I'm glad Netflix recommended, to it, like, recommended it to me. I might watch it again at some point, but either way, I'm pretty happy to have seen it once. 